اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لا یحزنہم الفضاء الاکبر وتتلقاہم الملائکت ہاذا یومکم الذی کنتم تعدون دی ٹرانسلیشن از دی گریٹ ٹیرر ول ناٹ گریو دیم اینڈ دی اینجلز ول میٹ دیم سیئنگ دس از یور ڈے وچ یو ار پرومسڈ It applies mainly to this world, to the hereafter, to the hereafter, because that would be the day of decision. And people have been doubting their life after death, the people who have firm faith that they will revive again. So that is the day of their victory. So Allah Ta'ala tells us that the angels of God will congratulate them. They say, now it has the decision been taken at last and you have uh, emerged conqueror over the rest of your enemies. Now as far as Faza Akbar is concerned, Faza Akbar means that day would be a day of extreme restlessness among people because to reopen one's eyes is when there is no other shelter but the shelter of God. Only the blessing of God can save people. So this is called Fazi Akbar. So it will be a great day of restlessness for the whole world. I mean all those who have been re revived. Prophets of old, prophets of new, whatever they were. Not only prophets, but all the junior ranks. They will all be raised. Now this is understood to be, have happened in one day. But in my opinion, that cannot happen in one day for all the people who have died. How can they recognize each other? So in my opinion, it's a terminology of the Qur'an in which it shows that people will move around and recognize each other as well. So perhaps that day is a very long day. Allah knows best. But in my opinion, this terminology must be understood properly and one should not take in the words literally. One should not take the words literally. You think, Abdul Rahman, you have been well covered? Good. Thank you, Master.